We've had a lot of people email us asking, can I pour resin into one of your aluminum molds? And today we're going to answer that question. I'm here with Marling and we're going to take a 5.6 inch prey bait mold and we're going to test out and see if you can actually pour resin in there and pull out a hard bait. This is the hole size we're dealing with. We have to pour all of the resin through that hole. It's got the venting. It has, here, let me show you. Spots where air can get through. It should work, theoretically. But why question anymore? Let's just make it work. UMR. You guys know Illuminite, right? Here. That's their resin and stuff. This is the mold release we'll be using though, on the aluminum to see if you can pour resin in here and demold it and still get all the detail and stuff. Okay. <laughs> that should be full coverage. So now that we have the mold release sprayed in there, we're gonna go ahead and assemble our mold. And on this mold specifically, there's a little hole on the side if you don't put the inserts in. So we're gonna have to make sure to put some tape or something over that so we don't have the resin pouring out of that hole. So the uh, resin we're gonna be using is the Aluma Resin RC-3 casting resin and there's a part A and there's a part B. So we'll be mixing those in equal amounts. Yes, So one. Equal amounts, we'll be mixing those and then we'll be pouring that into the mold and probably tapping or shaking it to get the air bubbles to rise and come out of the venting. You can demold it in like seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah. That's crazy fast. It is, yeah. Holy cow. I usually like to put a little bit more hardener than resin in everything that's like this. All epoxies. So that's 0.75 with the resin. Now the hardener, I'm gonna put like 0.77. So this casting is gonna have bubbles in it because uh, I shook this, but it, it hardens so fast that you can't vacuum this after you stir it. It'll ah. just set up in the vacuum. Bubbly. So you wanna make sure that you get this fully stirred up or it's not gonna, the chemical reaction's not gonna happen properly. Uh, what would happen? Would you get like clumps? Yeah, no, you get like little wet streaks wet on the, in the surface of your casting. Wet streaks are bad streaks. Wet streak. Okay, you don't want a wet streak. <laughs> it's ready. Okay, so he's just literally gonna pour this into the top of the mold. I'm trying to just hit, go straight through that hole and not touch the sides. I'm getting the vibe that this is working. Here we go. I'm gonna bang it on the table now to get those air, air bubbles up. Resins stirred, mixed, put in there, bang down the table, get the air bubbles to shake and kind of come up and out. And now we're gonna let it sit for probably like 10 minutes just to be sure. So it'll sit for like seven to 10 minutes and then we'll crack it open and see what's inside. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes and we are gonna um, demold this thing. We're gonna start by taking the tape off and then crack the thing open and hopefully we can pull it apart. And we're doing this for reasons. Yes. We're trying to figure some things out. Like if hard baits are a thing with aluminum molds. Yes. Yeah, it's a little... It's a little wet still. It's a little goopy still. Let's wait yep. five more minutes. Okay. It's been 10 minutes later probably. We are no longer sticky and goopy. Let's see if I can open it with my hands. Oh no. I heard a noise. That might've been my bones in my hands. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> There's a slot in these molds for a reason. Ooh, that popped right open. Popped open. Oh, wow. Nice. You need some tolerances for that. You see that? This stuff's really flexible when it's not cured all the way. So you can kind of peel your bait out. Look at that. Come on. Oh, some flashing going on there. Look at that. Even the tail poured perfectly. So there it is, there's your answer. You can actually pour resin into one of our aluminum molds and get a hard resin bait. This is still a little bit flexible, but it will harden up over time. Not sure exactly why you'd wanna do this because this will not swim when it's hard, nor will 
any of the, the worm molds or any of that would be kind of useless, but it's good learning. And for us in the, in the future, we might, we might do something with that. Don't forget your mold release, fellas. Yes, don't forget to mold release.